hello, I'm Aaron, and I am. I was playing the character of Ozzy. Uh, my character is Naomi. She's uh, Lilith's best friend. I'm playing Eva, and Eva is the girlfriend of Sam. Hi, I'm uh, playing Mr. Kale, the artist. So, I played Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn is pretty badass. So, hello, everyone. <laughs> hello, I'm playing Lilith. Show, it's really cool, it's about death and people dying and me abusing my girlfriend verbally uh, and uh, and I really wish I had a beer. I think I have to pay him a visit. <laughs> Please, big poppy, don't hit Please. me no more. Please, hit me. I'm panic, I'm panic, okay? Yeah. We're going. We're going. We're going. So, what have, do I have to say about the character? So, I have to admit, like, the first time I read the script, you know, I was a little bit, like, maybe taken aback by some of the things that Ozzy had to do. But as soon as, I, as we began shooting and I got him to know the character a little bit better, you know, I, I realized that actually, even though he's a bit of a, a, bit of a crook and a menace, he also has the softer side especially whenever he, um, you know, especially the side of him which uh, deals with his relationship uh, with Lilith. He really loves her. So in terms of how I approached it, you know, I guess I took it day by day. I was just like, whatever was the scene that we were shooting on that day, I just, you know, I was trying to get myself into the vibe. You know, sometimes he had to be angry, so I was angry and I was like playing this tough guy. Other times, you know, it was more about having, being there with his girl, trying to be a little bit, you know, showing the softer side of him. And, you know, I just did that. So since I don't have a lot of acting experience, that's all I could have done, just trying to get into the character based, you know, like day by day. Why? <laughs> 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 Do you want me to stand up on as Marilyn? Yeah. Yeah. Song director. Um, at the very beginning, I supposed to be very soft and very, um, very nice girl. She was going to shopping and do many girly things. But then, yeah, I developed into a serious killer. So, um, yeah, uh, my character uh, shows that how one very naive and nice girl could become um, a very evil or devil uh, girl because of the life circumstances. Um, he's a quiet guy, uh, rather shy and timid. Uh, he doesn't know how he feels about his work. He's also extremely unconfident in his work and um, a bit insecure as well. Doesn't know how he feels about certain things and can't seem to get his feelings straight. <laughs> Naomi just wants to make sure that Lilith knows what she's doing and somehow she's trying to protect her. Yeah. Seriously, you're the one who makes some adjustments to your lifestyle. Eh. Adjustments to your lifestyle. Seriously? <laughs> and 
at the beginning you can see that she's a good girl and she's suffering because basically Sam doesn't care about her but then you'll find out that she is actually cheating on him and he's not that good. She is definitely your ultra cool feminist. Uh, I was a little bit confused at the beginning of what the character was supposed to be, um, but as we got through, I sort of helped her gain a little bit more confidence. I realized that she really is quite tough. Uh, she doesn't take any bullshit. So, uh, and she fights, she fights for, for all women. She's there for all women. So when she saw that Lilith was being treated like garbage, she double-crossed some bad guys and helped her out. Oh shit. Damn it. I have no idea. You got my... No, man. That's a cut, that's a cut, that's a cut. Okay, so I feel like my favorite scene was the scene when I had to creep up on John, or Sam, uh, which is his, his character's name. You know, uh, because I didn't have to do much talking. It was just me walking, looking hard, and then jumping him from behind, stealing his stuff. I feel like, I felt pretty, you know, I felt pretty bad as doing that, so it was cool. When it comes to the toughest scene, Damn, it was definitely the one where I had to, you know, properly um, threaten my girlfriend with a forced abortion. <laughs> I felt pretty, I, you know, it's like kind of, you know, against my values, but, I, but you know, at, the t at that time I knew, okay, this is just the character, it's not me. So I just got into that, you know, I was like, okay, let me do it, let me be angry. Let me do it, you know, let me just like say all those lines which are scandalous. So it was a bit tough, but at the same time, doable. Because of me? No. <laughs> because of me. Cut. I'm sorry. No. No, please don't do that. Just don't do that. I mean, because I... <laughs> Yeah, I think my favorite scene was the one in the studio trying to draw uh, the woman in front of me and um, I liked it because the whole having to come into character and actually act nervous which is something that when you start having to act a certain way you, you start realizing you're actually acting and it gets extremely difficult to hold that sort of uh, uh, position or disposition. Um, so yeah, that was my, that, I think that was my favorite. My favorite scene. Probably the scene where I, my character meets Azzy where I have to give him the looks and there's a lot of eyebrow work in there. <laughs> um, yeah, that one. And the awkwardness in the room. That, that was really fun to have. We were all like, okay, I should go now. <laughs> that was really fun. And one of my favorite scenes overall, I think, the scene between Lilith and Merlin at the end. Um, I think it's really empowering. Like the dynamic, the fact that you only find as an audience about uh, this plan at the end, um, that they were working together, not against each other. Uh, and to see that kind of uh, relationship between to women, it's really empowering.
Your plan worked. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and Ozzy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up all the characters now. <laughs> Sam and My favorite scene, I think when Sam is killing Eva, that was my favorite scene at the same time very the scariest scene because uh, John who plays Sam, uh, he is very interesting and uh, I was a bit scared that he'll be, <laughs> that I'll get killed. <laughs> but I'm alive, ta-da! This piece of shit, you. Sorry guys, shut the fuck up, asshole. You'll get it. I want, you know, John, one thing you could help me. Are you okay? Say something! Say something! Abuse me! Come on! Get, get up! My fear. I told it before and I'm telling now when Tina and Aaron are making out. Wow, that was awesome. And the way how Hassan was shot the scene. Wow, I think he can like try to do another job. <laughs> Not just like fictional <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, that was really awesome. Aaron, I saw that. <laughs> I missed it. Nobody can catch an eye. <laughs> okay, fine. Be careful. And make sure that no, no one cut you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one cut you. Make sure no one cut you. <laughs> uh, my favorite scene. Mm, depends when we were shooting. So when we were shooting, uh, um, the, the, the phone call when I was like saying that I uh, have lost the child because of Ozzy, I could feel my emotions were very, very like on a high level, tensive. And I feel like I was stressed when I was talking about that. Yeah. And also I liked the scene when I was, the last scene was my, uh, it was the longest though, but it was mm, the most touchable because it was the last one and I felt like, oh, it's been, it's, it's ending. And it was with John, no matter. It was with John, it was very, very nice. I remember that. Her back. She is no more. Oh no, I'm sorry. You just reminded me of her. That is all. Okay, I will kill him. Oh, don't put your dirty hands on my face. I do like when Tina is walking through 798 the first time, when, when Lilith is walking through 798 the first time, and John is, what's his name? Sam, is behind the corner and... <laughs> Out. Yeah, I really like that. That, that definitely um, captured a little bit of his craziness. And of course, Ozzy and Lilith's smoking hot scene. How could you not? <laughs> we all got a little bit, bit hot watching that. There's heaps of scenes. I, I please let me let me watch it some more. Right? Um, my, uh, my favorite scene of myself as Marilyn is, is definitely the scene where she's on the phone to KD, or is it no, to her pimp and saying, you know, this guy is not, not, not cooperating with her. So much, so many men not cooperating, like, get your shit together. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm kind of ashamed of myself. But I feel 100% accomplished. Um, I'm pretty proud of how I hugged that tree and just slid down it. Uh, I'm really excited to see how that comes out. Um, I smell like vomit. Like, I smell like a frat house. And... I'm really nervous that the cops have been called on me. Uh, yeah, 
that sums up my day. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> okay, if it wasn't Ozzy, who would fit me? Hmm, definitely not Sam. <laughs> That's what I can say for sure. Uh, maybe, maybe the guy who Sam's girlfriend cheated with? Maybe. Yeah, but honestly, I feel Ozzy was the best character for me. You know, because of the energy of the, the guy. Yeah. Because other ones, I feel like artist, I'm not an artist really, so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't do a good job playing an artist. Um, yeah, so definitely maybe this guy, maybe this guy, you know, the guy who's like appears from time to time and is like a little bit angry. Yeah, but Ozzy was definitely the best choice, the best fit. <laughs> I think if I could play any other character, I'd play Ozzy because it seems like the most fun. And it's so opposite of my personality. I think that it would be a challenge for me. And um, I don't think I generally look like I, I, could, I could play a bad guy. So I don't have the, but I think it would be, I think it'd be fun. And um, yeah, to try to be the exact opposite of what I am. a female version of Sam <laughs> for sure I found that I find the character really interesting like the development um, what triggers him it's it's really interesting and I think as an actress that would be a, a challenge for sure um, and I'm really interested in the psychology of this character, it's, it's really, I like the energy of the character, probably that's why I'm so drawn, um, but yeah, definitely Sam, the female version of Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, you are laughing. Damn it, oh, damn it, damn stop, it, I'm stop. so sorry. <laughs> not Eva, let me think. I like Naomi because she's very good and I'm very good in real life. So <laughs> I think um, it would be my favorite character, yeah. What's that? What does that? Oh, I hate it. Why? Not wake him up. That night I slept. I. Damn it. Sorry. I think I became very, very um, close to Lilith situations in some parts because I felt like maybe the woman is always the strongest one in the relationship. I don't think that I would be able to play someone else as good as other people were playing it. She's super cool. Lilith is badass. I mean, I, I mean, Naz's character is awesome. What, Eva? Eva is great. And Ramona's character, what's her name? Naomi. She's she's great. But, you know, we all want to be big, so. <laughs> Yeah.
you know, in the very beginning, like even before we started acting, and we were like kind of like rehearsing, and I had to like go in front of everybody and, you know, like perform. It was tough. My the very first rehearsal, I felt self-conscious <laughs> and a little bit like embarrassed because I was thinking, okay, what are other people gonna think about my performance? However, with time, you know, Hassan was telling me a lot about like, first of all, separating myself from the character. Second of all, mm, just like remembering that other nobody's judging me really. So, uh, so as soon as I realized that, you know, it became pretty relaxed, and I actually enjoyed acting. I enjoyed, you know, working with our team, and you know, like observing what do they do and trying to learn in order to improve improve my performance. Uh, so experience was definitely good. It was it was a learning curve, but I, now I feel like if I had an opportunity to act again, wow, I would have done a lot better. Uh, well, firstly, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot of fun. It's not a thing I was expecting, but I was uh, really happy with the experience overall. Um, Cut it, cut it, cut it. was short, but it was good. It was something I'd never done before. So um, I'm glad I got to try something new. Um, I would do it again, but I think it would, uh, I would need a bit more time with it in order to get a little better at it. Um, but it was definitely, definitely a learning experience and to see what all, what all goes into making films and movies. It was an accident, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it was very interesting experience because I've never acted before. Usually I'm behind the camera and it was very funny because I was working with my friends. Filming experience was very, very, very good and um, I feel like I'm missing it because we used to have this kind of um, meeting every Monday or Tuesday whenever we are off and we, we just go together, shoot the whole day, no matter, even ch sometimes during the night. And then we together go have nice experience, get drunk because Lily likes to drunk and sometimes, you know, you cannot get out from the character and you just continue drinking. That's how it is. I don't think he's handsome anymore. When someone's out paying you, that person is uh, Oh, amazing. What, what a fantastic experience. I mean, I am not gonna lie, I haven't worked uh, as, as an actor for a long, 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 long time. And I am a trained theater actor, which I always thought that I did prefer. And I mean, I, both theater acting and film acting have their pros and cons. Um, when I was asked to be a part of it, of course that, you know, I'm not gonna turn down an opportunity. And I, my character started off really small and then grew and grew and grew and I got to know it more and so, my, I, I, I can see personally that my scenes that I did towards the end are definitely of a much better quality than they were when I first started and I had no idea what was going on and who Marilyn was and what she was supposed to be doing. So I mean, in, in, in hindsight, which everyone has with projects like this, I, I would have either liked to have known more about what I was supposed to be portraying or being given the opportunity at the end to just do the whole thing over again um, in the way that, you know, but, but hindsight is a beautiful thing. But what a fantastic experience. I mean, uh, I made some incredible friends. Uh, we had some fucking funny times and I can't wait to see the bloopers. 
yeah, all in all, it's fantastic. I can't, I can't wait to do more. It's definitely given me a taste of what, what we can do in the future and, and showing me what I am capable of doing. So it's been all in all a real fantastic experience of growth and development. but the cold never bothered me anyway. I'm right here if you want to talk again. So I didn't even have time. Good, I'm not gonna do rush. I'm gonna be like, uh, oh, probably if you see it around a little bit. And then Before that, when someone comes to I choke you with my hands. Yeah, yeah, that all of What? What the hell? Lazy, stupid, dumb, shoot me, shoot me